Good evening, everyone. You can take part in a Stop the Violence flag football tournament, a way to make a call to everyone to be a role model to the younger generation and an influence in the right direction. 110% Productions is hosting this first of its kind 7-on-7 seven -seven flag football tournament at the Northwest District Park in Leland this weekend. The event welcomes anyone ages 16 and up to set up a team of 7-9 to nine players and play for a cash grand prize. The group has teamed up with the juvenile justice system in Brunswick County, as well as former local stars in Jason Murphy, Jabril Robinson, and even Trevon Brown. Today is the deadline, though, so act fast. We have all the information for registration on our website. Today at the American Athletic Conference Football Media Day, it was finally time to talk shop. The preseason rankings were released, and it wasn't a strong showing for the Pirates. They were picked dead last in the conference for the upcoming season. Of the 12 teams in the conference, ECU received the least amount of votes from the media, leaving their outlook for the 2018 season as a little dim. Memphis and Central Florida were picked to win their divisions, with the Knights gaining the most votes overall. The vote is not what third-year ECU coach Scotty Montgomery is thinking, though, heading into the year. While many says he's coaching for his job ahead of today's media day, he said the Pirates are a bowl team, and he plans on using this vote as motivation. Oh, it's just one of those situations to where we, we're, we're all using that motivation. We're all in this together. We know that it's against all odds, and we understand that it's the Pirates versus everybody. It's, it's a slap in our face because um, we know we're better than that, and this team knows we're better than that, so it, it, it hurt. And the Pirates will be banking on Trevon. Trevon Brown's production as well as a new defensive coordinator and they're hoping that will help the team turn the tides in 2018. I think it's safe to assume you'll hear Trevon Brown's name with the All-American Conference teams are in revealed. But today the ACC announced their All-ACC preseason team. Five players from the triangle made the cut. Anthony Ratliff-Williams from North Carolina, Joe Giles-Harris and Mark Gilbert from Duke. And finally, Kelvin Harmon and Ryan Finley from NC State. Finley received a fair amount of attention for the ACC Player of the Year award, finishing eight votes behind the first place pick in A.J. Dillon, running back from Boston College. Giles Harris received two votes for the league's top honor as well. While the Pirates were in media day, their opening opponent, the North Carolina A&T Aggies, were hard at work with their second day of camp. And former NFL receiver Chad Ocho Cinco was in attendance. Ocho said he traveled to Greensboro to see a team that's been as about as dominant as anybody as the Aggies have been. He hoped his advice could make a difference with these players, and I hope that he gave them some tips for some touchdown celebrations. All right, we will have more sports for you tomorrow. See you all then.